by definition mycelium is the uh, like the lower vegetative part of the mushroom uh, ecosystem or the mushroom body it grows underground and eats up and absorbs all the nutrients from its surroundings and creates this fibrous amalgamated matter which eventually sprouts fruits out mushrooms so we thought why not to try and build something with it because it actually has um, amazing properties um, it's very ecological it's uh, completely renewable it's sustainable it's biodegradable and once you get a finished product this also has an amazing acoustic and insulation properties what you're seeing right now in terms of the actual building use for it is in kind of like non load bearing instances right so in insulator in interior walls um, as acoustic boards that was something that we really wanted to challenge and something that we were really interested in is how can we actually make this into a building material that can be functional just like a brick can be right on an exterior and something that can support weight at the start we started printing shapes and boxes for the actual mycelium to sit inside and then I thought, oh, why don't we try using natural woods and like natural material to print and see if they will grow or stick to them. We tried with several different types of wood and we found out one of them you could use really well. Uh, we then started mixing with Perspex and the wood, which will give you a really clean edge from one side. That led us to kind of this next exploration of looking at sticking a, a grid of dowels in between the structure itself. So the mycelium actually has more areas to grow onto that are substantial enough to retain its strength. And another thing that we're interested in is uh, to create like a almost fabricated yourself sort of a kit that a user can procure and uh, give form to based on what their design requirements are and just get the mycelium or mushroom material and grow it themselves in their houses to create more habitable spaces or sort of counters or furniture. Lately we've been doing a study. We've looked at the holes and openings within uh, the structure and we wanted to see basically how big of the opening it can close onto itself. So how far, how big of a span of mycelium can basically bridge. We've took a very similar shape like this and we've printed it in a wood PLA 3D filament and we've grown mycelium onto it. And as you can see, we have a complete uh, solid structure with using a lot less material. It's a very organic form uh, and it's very exciting. So we're going to see where it's going to take us.